Hey, what's up my fellow athletes? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're talking about the carbon plated shoes and if they make you any faster at all. Now before you go and spend around two to three hundred euros, dollars or pounds on one of these carbon plated shoes, I was thinking we should find out if they are indeed faster. So we did exactly that. Stay tuned and let's go. Remember a few years ago when Nike came out with the Vaporfly 4%? Kipchoge was wearing them for the first time and he was absolutely shattering marathon record after marathon record. And it sparked a lot of controversy. Are the shoes actually making him faster or not? And how much so? I dug a little bit deeper and I tried to find out how much faster these shoes could make you, if any faster at all. But before we can get to this and which shoe is the fastest, yes, there actually is a shoe recommendation in this, so stay tuned. We got to know how these shoes work. Inside most of these shoes, or at least these super or these carbon plated shoes, there will be a carbon plate in the midsole. The carbon plate in the middle of this shoe is actually there to propel you forward. It makes you lose a lot less energy since this is a very rigid structure that if you put force to it, it will give you that power back and therefore propel you forward. Now, there is a caveat to this and this mainly has to do with the design of the shoe. There is a test done with Skecher shoes where they made people run with the Skecher shoes with and without the carbon plate. So the exact same shoe and they looked at the difference in their running times. It turned out the carbon plate was not effective for all runners. However, in the same study, they also compared that shoe to a different shoe and turned out that different shoe was a lot faster. So it was not just about the carbon plate, but the carbon plate and the midsole and that one shoe actually stood out. But what that shoe is, we'll save for just a little bit later in this video. So stay tuned. When we look at a few studies where they combine a lot of different shoes, carbon plated and non-carbon plated, the results are pretty mind blowing. And by mind blowing, I mean very much in favor of the carbon plated shoes. And as it turned out, almost with all different carbon plated shoes, participants actually ran faster, were able to travel more distance or were just more efficient in their running. How much so? That was actually different when looking at individual per individual and shoe per shoe. Nike was actually one of the first brands to release a carbon plated shoe. And of course, with Kipchoge, they had the ideal ambassador because he was destroying the competition with every marathon he ran. And he did so for several more years. In the beginning, Nike claimed that the shoes actually made you 4% more efficient. And the efficient part is actually pretty important in this because 4% more efficient doesn't necessarily mean 4% faster because that's what everyone thought in the beginning. It would make you 4% faster, but it turned out this wasn't the case. It depends on your running pace, your running style, your strength or a whole bunch of other factors that would determine if you got faster or not and how much so. But the 4% was pretty indicative to how much faster you would run. The 4% wouldn't necessarily be 4% faster in your end time, but the 4% more efficient with most people, most runners would actually make you one and a half to 3% faster. So a little under 4%, but that's where most studies actually found it to be making you faster. When Kipton smashed the marathon world record in Chicago last year, and sadly he is no longer with us, his trainer and his team actually commented on the shoes he was wearing. Kipton was seen as a larger runner, especially in the marathon uh, top athletes, because most of them are 
below 60 kilograms or around that and Kiptum was set at the time to be somewhere in between uh, 62 and 65 kilograms there is still a little bit uh, mystery around this but since he was on the slightly heavier side the team and Nike also were claiming that he had more benefit of the carbon plated shoe just the sheer size of him and the weight actually made him propel forward more interesting i hear you thinking because let's face it most of us will be heavier than 62 kilos if you're a male runner i am by a long stretch at least so i hope that these shoes might make me even faster and remember i was talking about that shoe recommendation well one study actually found that the nike vapor flies were far out outperforming the other shoe brands but that was only one study i did not find this in any other study however so do take this with a grain of salt so should you be spending two to three hundred euros dollars or pounds on one of these shoes I guess it is, like most cases, a very personal choice. If you ask me, I will train for weeks, months, try to get every detail in my training right to get the best time as possible. Then two, three hundred euros, dollars or pounds, phew, absolutely worth it. For some of you, that might not be the case. And then these carbon plated shoes might not be on top of your list. They also aren't always super comfortable. They can be a little hard on your feet. So if you're looking for comfort, then these might not be the ones that you should buy. I hope that this was very informative. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure to click that like button. It makes the video go out to more people and I really appreciate it. Also, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel because we're making a lot more videos in the future. I hope you are absolutely smashing your next run. Maybe we'll bump into each other and I hope you are having an absolute blast with the next run. See you guys in the next one. Bye.